easy <coughs> and can be uh, modified modified with ease third is you can actually there is something called as terraform plan terraform plan can perform a dry code which will allow us which will allow us to see any errors fourth is terraform is uh, we can import we can import the uh, like resources into the code even they are manually created they are manually created fifth one will be the good thing is terraform is fast guys terraform is fast and uh, very good to handle or very easy to handle so i mean the error, error codes not that complex actually but that doesn't mean that terraform is actually a super duper product so some problems with terraform is bugs actually terraform right okay new versions will always have bugs bugs and it's needed to use stable version don't always use a new version because the problem is you really don't know it is your issue or it is just a bug actually so it will it can cause you issues a lot of issues okay next is uh next one is what i can say is Mm, oh okay imagine terraform might not be available for the new services because if aws or azure is, is releasing a new service right terraform really don't know about that right so what will happen once the service is releases released then they need to develop on that one so what the problem is uh, <clears throat> it might not have the plugins for the new services new services as they need to services as they need to be developed as they need to be developed okay so these are some disadvantages of the terraform most probably what you will say is bugs as well as uh, if any new service is coming in and you don't find the code for that one you might need to use again cloud formation or uh, or arm template for that one okay now how exactly uh, we're going to create a code here actually so for that what you need to is we need to download the terraform first and then i'm going to show you what how to find the version as well as uh, uh, how to deal with it and how to we'll write a basic code and check it out okay now terraform how do you know terraform is going to work on some files or everything how do you know that the the folder has terraform code how do terraform knows that terraform that uh, there is some code here uh, which is actually belong to terraform that's why any files for example main.tf or uh, ec2.tf or iam.tf or rds.tf so whatever the files it it ends with .tf denotes the terraform remember that so what we'll do in a folder right what we'll do is we put all our code in .tf files and when you perform the terraform uh, plugin when you perform the para terraform run right then what it will do it will consider all the files which are ending with tf okay ending with tf and they start using it okay it's going to use those files and apply the configuration in that one okay first what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a folder guys so me come here hold on okay let me come to c drive and i'm going to create a folder <clears throat> i'll say weekend devops weekends devops class okay in this weekend devops class right now if you see i have a empty actually 
I don't have any Terraform here. So you can download the Terraform. Normally, we don't download Terraform to every folder, guys. What we'll do is we'll put Terraform. If you see, see Windows, right? Uh, I'm doing it Windows. I kept C in Terraform folder. I kept the Terraform. So what will happen? Uh, let, let me tell you, you need to go to command line and type Terraform, right? <clears throat> Basically, it works actually. It is giving everything. Let me tell you, I'm going to do. Uh, I kept the Terraform and Terraform.exe inside, right? How do my system knows I need to go here? That's why what you need to do is you need to open sysdm.cpl, which will open the system properties. Uh, go to advanced, go to environment variables. In this one here, you need to go to the path. And you need to give C Terraform here. But what will happen sometimes, right? You will not be able to open this system properties because your administ administration rights won't work. Uh, that's why you don't have admin rights on your laptop. During that time, what you need to do is press Control uh, Windows Q and type ENV. When you type ENV, uh, you should get hmm. yeah, ENVI. You will get. And we know and you know edit for edit the any system environment variables or edit environment variables for your account You click on this one. It will open the same click on edit. See what you wish you can actually New and uh, give the folder. It, it might be C Terraform whatever wherever exactly you downloaded, right? You can do that one. So well, let's me do one thing here. What I'll do is uh, if I type Terraform version Terraform machine is 12.20 actually. Okay. Now, if you download it, right? What whatever the folder you download, okay. What you need to make sure that you copy that and you need to give it to uh, system. Like I told you, like environment variables, right? Go here, envi. Go to your 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 account, edit, and add a new and give that path here. Once you give that path, right? Close everything, save or close it and open it. And open it again. Try to run <clears throat> Terraform version. It will work actually. Otherwise, what will you will it will get like Terraform not found or a command not found. Okay. So like this. If it is in Linux, right? What you are supposed to do is in Linux you need to put user local sbin or bin. So automatically it will take it from there. I'm going to show you when I go to the Linux. Right now this is how you need to download and give it. So what I'm going to do is let me do one thing. Envi and I'm going to edit. I'm going to remove this Terraform. I'm going to delete it. Click on OK. OK. And I'm going to close this. Open again. Terraform. You see, you'll get something like this. Terraform is not recognized. Even you might have downloaded. For example, what I'm trying to say is let me show it to you. Here, <clears throat> I'm going to create a folder. I'll say another. Terraform. Okay, here I'm going to put the Terraform here. Download and keep the Terraform here. Uh, say you can download from Terraform.io and uh, go to the download. See for the testing purposes, I'm actually using the Terraform. What will happen is if you go for a real-time environments, right? They might be using still 11.13, 11.2 some version. So only or 11, 12.11 11 like that. So uh, if you see the latest release is 12.20. If you click on it, the release notes, right? So they say it has it has released in January 22nd guys not even one month. Okay, so there is a chance a lot of bugs and it will also show something like fix the issue show and alias providers clean up the MTV. So all these things whatever the bug fixes, but it always comes with a new new, new bugs actually so it happens. So what will happen? The reason I'm telling this when you join the company don't expect that it will be 12.20 latest one. It will be always always old version. Okay, then why can't you teach the old versions or you can ask me the, the the reason why I'm teaching the latest version is if every company uses the same version then I could have selected some some old version and teach you but the problem is there are new enhancements coming into the uh, coming into the Terraform right so I can't really use the old version and check it out actually okay that's why I'm going to use the latest version so <coughs> we can check all the latest enhancements 
so i need to download now if you want to download the versions you can have here you can also download the older versions of terraform from here okay right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to we need to window 